Hi guys, my name is Chloe, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be unboxing the April Fairy Loot box. So as always I've completely forgotten the theme of this month's box but oh well it means I'm going to be surprised all the more. I think if I remember correctly there were some book fandoms in here for the items that I'm excited for but I can't remember for the life of me what they were so let's find out I'm excited to get into this box okay so first we've got the spoiler card for the month very pretty I love the flames in the background and this month's theme is bittersweet and here are all the items Ooh, so it's a very full box. Um, so first we've got a fabric item, which I'm hoping is not tote bag. I think we got one last month though, so we should be okay. And we've got um, this little ah, canvas basket. So maybe if I pop this out. Oh wow, that's really, really cute. There we are. It's a little... Um, fabric um, basket with um, like wiring around here so it's quite sturdy and it's inspired by Addie LaRue and it says um, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind by V Schwab so that's a book I have read and I love the design I love the stars and the black and white um, design so to be honest I'm probably gonna pop, pop this on top of my book trolley and put um, if not books, then little trinkets and stuff in there. So I'm really, really pleased with this item. So next, it looks like we've got a pin. Um, Strange the Dreamer moth pin. So that's good. I do have a uh, pin flag, so I always like it um, when we do receive pins, even if it's for books that I haven't read. Oh wow, that's really, really pretty so sparkly as well the camera doesn't do it justice it's so the dark blue especially is really really glittery but yes i love this one i haven't read um strange the dreamer but i've heard good things i have started oh what was it called so i've read the daughter of smoke and bone by laney taylor and really 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 enjoyed it but i haven't finished that trilogy yet either i own them all i need to get to it but as we know, I always have series that I need to finish. But yeah, really, really beautiful pin. Really love that item as well. Oh, next we've got a box and looks like we've got some fairy lights. I did get some fairy, uh, fairy lights before um, in a subscription box. I think they were little moons and I used them for a couple of Instagram pictures, but I didn't, I haven't actually used them as lights. Um, so I need to do that actually. Um, it'd be really nice decoration and really cosy, especially going into winter, not so much now in summer, but let's have a look. Yeah, so these are very similar to the moon ones that I got before. And it just has, um, what it says? Heart fairy lights, but they kind of just look like bunches of grapes. I'm not too impressed with the design on these but I'm sure when they're lit up and if I actually use them as intended then they're gonna look cozy and pretty anyway um so yeah that's an okay item not too bad I don't think it's inspired by anything I think it's just um fairy loot design yeah by the fairy loot team so not inspired by anything in particular Next, we've got an item and I just saw it and it is, and it's amazing. It is a um, little tray, but it's inspired by the Night Circus and the Night Circus is one of my favourite standalones, if not my favourite standalone of all time. I love it. It's gorgeous. I really, really need to reread it though, because it's been 
years since I've read it, um, but I'm kind of dreading it. I want it to be amazing and if I reread it there's always the chance that I won't love it as much, but I just remember loving the characters and the magic and I love the circus theme. I read the Howard Affair books by Catherine Ann Kingsley. I love it. I love this. I haven't actually found a use for the other tin that I got for, from Fairy Loot. I think I just put a couple of chocolates on it at one point over the Christmas period. Um, but the design on this one is so much better so I like it and bonus if I can find a use for it really. Okay so next we've got oh a paperback a paperback book and this is An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. I've never heard of this book before and it's got sprayed edges. Um, I really like it when we get extra books in Fairy Loot because um, the items can sometimes be hit or miss and they just end up sitting around. Whereas with a book, at least it will go on my shelf and eventually I will give it a go at some point and it's like a bonus book. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is about. Okay, so I've read the blurb um, on the back and it just seems to be some kind of um, Romeo and Juliet retelling. Um, also Chinese inspired and possibly fantasy as well. Um, and that's kind of good because I did read These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, um, the first book in that duology, and really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I'm willing to give this one a go, and like I said, it's a bonus book, so I'm happy with that. So next we've got our tarot cards in the box, and we've got the High Priestess, and the Emperor, and I want to say that these are still from that these are from Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I haven't read I read that book yet, um, but it looks familiar. Yes, they are Changji and Laiwi. I am butchering those names uh, from Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So they're really pretty. And now we have our book of the month. Well, before the book of the month, uh, we've got our bookmark which just has the same art as the spoiler cards so that's pretty cool. Um, our fairy scoop with some um, interviews and stuff in there that's always interesting to flick through and then we've got our letter from the author which has this um, lovely art piece on there and finally for the book let's see Ooh. There we are. And what do we have? We have blood. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> blood skyon. That's how I would guess it's said. Um, but I have no idea. I don't actually think I've read that word before. Uh, by Deborah Fillet. Yeah, never heard of this one. Uh, this is really intriguing. Um, on the back it just says, this is what they deserve. They wanted me to be free, a monster. I will be the worst monster they ever created. So that sounds good. Uh, potentially some, potentially a villain arc going on there, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Uh, let's read the blurb and find out. 15 year old Sloane can incinerate an, en an enemy at will. She is a Skyon, a descendant of the ancient Orissa gods. But under the brutal rule of Lucis, her identity means her death. Her mother knew as much. She disappeared trying to hide Sloane's truth. Sloane too has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is cons conscripted into the Luc Lucis army. Once taken, Sloane must not only conceal her power, but overcome the bloody challenges of Lucy training. But if she can infiltrate the Lucy, she could destroy her enemies, the people who think of her think of her of less than human, the overlords responsible for her mother's disappearance. Sloane rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so risks something greater, losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. So actually upon reading that, I'm kind of getting Elsa vibes, especially Elsa from the Frozen musical, uh, where she um, doesn't want to use her power because she's scared that she'll become the monster that everyone uh, wants her to be. That's kind of what I'm getting, but otherwise no idea what to expect. It looks kind of cool. 
um, and I completely forgot to look at the uh, gorgeous edition. <laughs> so let's have a look under the dust jacket. And under the dust jacket, we have the same as on the um, front cover. It's just printed on. This is the hardback. Same there and same there. So that's really cool. We've just got solid sprayed edges. We do have end papers this time, but not artwork. And then they are also signed. And then on the back, they're just the same ones there. And then under the dust jacket, we do have a little bit of art. Um, it's not the prettiest um, under dust jacket art that I've seen, um, but it is cool and it is really unique to anything I've received from Fairy Loop before. So that's a bonus. Um, yeah, this seems like it would be okay. It's not one that I'm immediately drawn to, like all of the other books I've re received so far this year from Fairy Loop. Like, I really still want to read. Um, is it only a monster? I really want to read that one and Daughter of the Moon Goddess looks lovely. I really want to pick that up. Um, but yeah, the, the, this one is okay and the design is okay. I think just compared to every other book they've released so far this year is a bit underwhelming and not even saying the book's bad. It's just Fairy Loot have done the, their books have been so high, so top, top notch so far this year. It's just, this one is probably their weakest, but that's not a bad thing and it's really unique still so yeah and like I said hopefully some villain vibes in there somewhere because those are always interesting to read. So those were all the items in the April Fairy Loot box. Uh, let me know down below what your favourite item was. I think for me it would be a toss-up between this um, little canvas storage thing and oh and the tray. The pin was lovely as well uh, in fact, I probably have to go for this just because I've got more use for this as a storage item versus the tray. But only just. I loved all of the items in this book and the bonus book, the pin. Um, the fairy lights were the only thing that I disliked, I think, which is an improvement on the last box. And the book, yeah, I'll get to it. So that's all for today, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!